what type of questions are being asked right as i said that students do get confused i see normal students being confused with the questions what to do how should i do it that's because of the way the question is being framed what i generally say is convert the english into math so that you can actually solve them in an easier manner you see this is one of the set of standard type of questions that you would see basically focusing on the percentages for example what percent of the shop a sales in 2015 is shop b sales in 2018 so people can read this table good shop a sales in 2015 is 300 shop b sales in 2018 is 150 i can read both of that good enough but what should i do now what is this percentage what percent should i calculate so i would say convert as i said math into english so read this word by word it is saying what percent so i need to answer this you know what percent 10% 5% 7.5% something like that let me take the answer for what is x i am saying x is the answer for the what so i just need to find the x x percent of right this is the shop a sales in 2015 is all one value basically the shop a sales in 2015 that is 300 right so x percentage of 300 is r was were is basically equals to shop b sales in 2018 that is also one value basically how much did shop b sell in 2018 that's 150 this is what the statement looks like simple x percentage it should be written as x by 100 of is into 300 is equals to 150 350 is there so basically x is 50 so the answer is 50% of shop a sales in 2015 is shop b you see i took x is the answer for this so that's why i would get x as 50 not 50 percentage so technically it's 50 percent of the shop a sales in 2015 is shop b sales in 2018 right other way is by what percentage did the sales of shop a change in 2015 over 2018 so this is not uh, actually a right way of setting a statement uh, to be frank uh, you see 2015 over 2018 is like chronological it is but then uh, we wanted to make you understand that i see a common confusion in most of the students so i see what is this question asking the percentage change is what they're asking i see 2015 for shop a and 2018 for shop a what is the what are the values 2015 300 2018 200 2015 it is 300 this is 200 so one way what is the formula that i would always recommend is this you know the final value the percentage change for two values minus initial or the base value by initial value in 200 right so i see students getting confused over this when they see two elements they sort of always think the small larger minus smaller by smaller into 100 is one way they look at it are in the chronological order they do 2018 minus 2015 by 2015 into 100 the value of 2018 year 2015 and by 2015 all of these are actually the wrong things right always understand what the statement is being framed the formula for percentage change is going to be this it's all about finding what is the final value and what is my initial or the base value according to the given question you see the question is asking the percentage change for shop a in 2015 over over this so this is my initial or base value right over what the percentage change is always calculated over some base value or base reference so because over 2018 so 2018 is my base value or my initial value and obviously this would be my final value so as i said 300 minus 200 by 200 into 100 is the answer 100 by 200 into 100 will be again 1 by 2 into 100 is 50 percent the percentage change is 50 percent this would have been the correct statement would have been by what percentage uh, you know what percentage is the shop a sales in 2015 more or less than 2018 and even then it's again talking about the base being 2018 so accordingly i should do the same thing what percentage of the total sales of shop a over the last 5 years is 2016 sales so again this is similar to the first statement what percentage i don't know i'll take it as x percentage of the total sales of shop a over the last 5 years what is this value i have to just find the sum of them The total sales of the shop over the last five years is three hundred plus two fifty five fifty four hundred nine fifty eleven fifty twelve fifty. 
right so x percentage of 1250 is our was were as i said equals to 2016 sales what is the value for 2016 sales for shop a it's 250 it's 250 right it's again easy x by 100 into 1250 to 250 if you know it you'll do 25 Pfizer 125 so that's basically 250 Pfizer 125 520 there x is 20% that's why I said like if you're fast with the calculations you can actually get the answer much faster you wouldn't actually have to do all of this also once you uh, you know are comfortable with the calculations so the answer would be 20% for this but as I said it's not about the calculations I am more focusing on this element of how to convert the given question into a simple math equation which you are comfortable with and then solve it.